Today is Tuesday, 19 June 2018. Okay, we have two red ear sliders as inpatients for for some medical condition. So we'll talk about the first one. This is the one, okay? Okay, start. This one has injury on the high leg and uh, how many years old, male, legs. female? This one is female, three years old, red ear sliders. Weight? Uh, 1.9 kg. Okay, it came in yesterday with a complaint of? Wounds on the high leg and front leg. Show the wounds. Huh? We just show the wounds. Mainly is on the back leg first. Just turn upside down. We just show uh, which is healing quite well now. This, um, this is the second video actually. The first video has shown. Okay, this is, this is the ulcerated wound this side and this side and then the body, parts of the body as well, but not so serious. Scratches. Okay, see the neck, the neck area, the neck between the the the, the you know where's the neck? No, uh, so no here in between here here. Eh? Facing me, of course. You know, facing the camera, I mean the... Not upside down, the strip. Facing the camera. Do you see any more wounds? Mm -hmm. The side there, armpit. Those are small scratches. Uh, okay, uh, no, but not so serious. Huh? Okay, it, okay, so now, this day two, now, is it eating or not? Yeah, eating a lot. The owner wanted us to put a lot of uh, pellets in. Actually, shouldn't put so many. When they finish, you give because the water is dirty. So, so now we we don't know how much we we have given. Do you know? Two spoons. Two spoons. How many grams? So the the best is this this time. Can just give ten first. Finish. Ten again. Finish. Then we know the number. Now we just or maybe it doesn't want to eat or or dirty the water. And it's not good for the wound. So so we will wash away and then clean up. Okay, the second one. Now this second, second one, go that side. Is second one came yesterday, so. Uh, mm. Male three it's, years. It's a male years three like years. The one is an uh, male. The other one, the male also. This one is female three years old. So you can see between these two, this is definitely much bigger inside because it, this one has been well looked after and has a uh, good food. Uh. Now this one they give restricted feeding. Okay, so. Yesterday it came in with a complaint of what's the complaint? Not eating for one week. Not eating for one week. Yeah. Very weak. Lethargic. And not not uh, moving much. But you can see this one is quite active, you see. This one is uh, normally is like that, quite active. Okay, do you, do you eat today? Not eating. Not eating. So this one we have to give the oral okay, feeding. Okay. Oral feeding. Okay, turn upside down. Anything below? On top you can see shell rod. Below the black spot is shell rot also, and this this one is so thin that you cannot see any fat. And you look at the, the other side also. You, you see all no no flesh at all, and the, the armpit side also. You can see there. You see, point your finger there. Point your finger in. in you can see inside. Uh, you see, uh, turn towards me. You can see this. Really, no turn turn. Uh, let me see no see the the hollow uh, you see the angle I uh, see the angle of the camera I see the camera the angle you, you uh, follow uh, you can see okay the, this one is very thin it's emaciated uh. okay put down again so they might have some infections uh, the generalized infection so it's not very active we are given antibiotic injections okay compared to this one come let's see the the fat on the on the shoulder area you can see this this there's a lot of let me see how you know focuses you can see this one definitely is full of uh, flesh you see that in between the head and the and the neck you can see uh, not hollow okay you see the back side so the back area you see it's full of flesh you see it's quite fleshy. You can see the back side so you compare and then you see the shell, there's no black, no no white spots, huh? The upper shell. The lower shell? You see it, this is the, the black one is due to friction moving around the floor, but is it very black? Yeah, it's black. 
but, but it's not so bad. No? Okay, put it back in again. Now we compare to this one. This one, you see the shell. There are a lot of white spots. Those are the fungal infections. And we are applying the antifungus. You see the... the okay, lower part, lower shell. Lower shell, you see. Let's just go down on it, but so close to me. Too close, we cannot focus. I uh, see there's some friction. Uh. Now, this one is a male. But I can see it's, it's all black. But the pores are okay. Any, any wounds on the pores? Compared to the other one, no, no wounds. A bit swollen, yeah. It looks swollen as well. But it might not be, yeah. It might be like that. Is it swollen? A bit. Okay, see, show show the, the muscle, uh, the fat, not enough fat at the side there. You can see, uh, hollow. You see, it's really hollow. Put the finger in, you can put very deep in. Uh, the other side is so. And then the, the between the neck and the sh and the shoulder, uh, you see. So this is considered emaciated. It means no, no, uh, no appetite weight loss for severe weight loss. Okay, so. So now we finish the observation. So we will change the water for this, and then just put ten, and then let let let, let, let him let, let let the this is a female, right? Yeah. Let her eat, and then we count how many pellets. Not not like this. The owner owner does this. It's no good. Yeah. Normally they finish about ten minutes if they're hungry. Yeah. If they're not hungry, there's no point giving so much. Also, dirty the water. You dirty the water, and then the bacteria comes in and infect the wounds. So let's conclude this case study, day two of hospital hospitalization, 19 June 2001, eight, two three year old red year slider. One is considered malnourished, although the shell is good, and the other one is overfed. One is what's the weight for this one? Six hundred grams. Six hundred gram the other one? 1.9 kg. So it's 1,900 grams. Uh, so yeah. you can see the difference three times. Uh. Same age, same species. One is female, one is male.